Have you ever noticed this? You set aside time to declutter and then that time comes and you just don't feel like it. It's like all motivation has left the building. And so it's really important to have some different tactics in our tool belt when it comes to decluttering to overcome lack of motivation and like those general feelings of, Ugh, I, I don't want to, I don't feel like decluttering today. So. A tactic that I love is from Cass from Clutter Bug. She calls it garbage bag therapy. We call it trash bag. What do you call it? Garbage bag, trash bag therapy. And literally what we're gonna do is just go around the house and look for trash, garbage, stuff that nobody needs. And it, what's nice is we can even go through some of the areas of other people in our household, their stuff. We're not getting rid of anything important. like literally just garbage or trash. And so it works really well to kickstart your motivation, but there's some other benefits to it too that we can talk about today. So why don't we work together? Go ahead and grab a black trash bag and we're gonna make a pass around the house. Okay, we're gonna start in this area. It's the girl's desk and then where Corbin and Gage keep some of their treasures. They're actually over at my parents' house right now. And so now it's actually a great time to do it because again, I'm not getting rid of any of their treasures, anything that is a judgment call. I'm literally just looking for trash. Okay, uh, we're not gonna have to look too far here to find some garbage. There are some candy wrappers. Um, just random cardboard. Let's see. So again, we're just looking for trash and this is a really great way to get your motivation going again because often decluttering feels a little hard, scary because we have to make decisions. Am I gonna use this in the future? Will I miss it if I get rid of it? Will my house be better off if I don't have this in here and don't have to manage it anymore? There's a lot of decision making in there, right? And some days we just don't feel up to the challenge. But what's so cool about doing the trash bag therapy is that it re-familiarizes us with the stuff that's here and we'll start to realize like, oh, there is actually a lot of just like wrappers and garbage and just broken things that we don't actually need. And then while we're at it, we might see some other stuff that we're just gonna put away quick or tidy up. Okay, now we might have some, I said there was no judgment calls, but there might be some stuff we have to decide whether we're gonna donate it or just toss it. And so you really need to know where you're at right now. And so for me, I'm just gonna toss some stuff. Like potentially I could donate this, but is somebody gonna go to the thrift store and be like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I found this there. Or they'd be like, it's from the dollar store. It's not a big deal. Like, I just, I know we wanna donate stuff whenever possible, but I think some of this small stuff Sometimes we just need to get rid of it and move on and make better decisions moving forward. So I'm giving you permission to throw stuff away. I know that's not always a popular opinion, <laughs> but again, having a peaceful and calm house is so important that I do think from time to time it's more important than this. And we throw away and waste so much less stuff now that I think getting your house simplified it'll just lead to better decisions moving forward. And so, yes, we might be throwing some stuff away today, but really I think moving forward, you're gonna find that you throw away very little. And I'll never forget one of the jobs I worked at during college was at an office. And I would actually go in on Saturday mornings and do the cleaning. And I remember the, the gal there that taught me how to do the cleaning and she was showing me how to, they would like vacuum and shake out the rugs and empty the garbage cans. And she said, and then, you're gonna go into one of the owner's offices to his desk and she was like, you're just gonna straighten everything up. And so I was literally, like his desk would be covered with just papers and catalogs and manuals and just different things, right? And she was like, you just go in and you just, you just straighten everything up. And then if there was like Mountain Dew cans or any you know food wrappers or stuff, you'd get rid of that and, and you just tidy everything up and then you dust off his monitor and if there was any part of the desk you could see you dust that off quick but but you don't touch anything else right and so this reminds me of that and I remember the first time she told me that I'm like this is ridiculous like does this actually make a difference but it was amazing you'd look back at the desk and you're like wow I didn't actually remove much you know just the garbage and stuff but it actually does feel better and I could see now when he comes in on Monday morning how this feels better to walk up to than the mess that it was from the week before. And so that has always stuck with me how even at a minimum, if we all just tidy things up and straighten them up and put them on neat piles, visually it actually does make a difference and it doesn't feel so stressful to us. So it is effective even though it might feel like, oh, is that really doing anything? So even as I'm going on over the girls' desks here, I'm finding stuff, I'm gonna run back into the kitchen, I'm tidying up a little bit and it doesn't feel so overwhelming because my goodness, it was a hot mess before, right? 
All right, I'm actually kind of surprised by how much stuff we have found over there. So why don't we make um, a quick pass through the bathrooms and then we'll see where we wanna head from there. Okay, I, I don't know if we'll find too much in here because I, I make passes through here regularly, <laughs> um, but I think the kids' um, like toothbrush drawer needs a little attention. I probably shouldn't even be showing this. <laughs> it's disgusting. Okay, like it's just, I don't know. So, oh no, okay. This is like practically empty. We're gonna let this go. I had just um, gotten this one. They like decided they each needed their own toothpaste and I'm like, no, we don't need four open toothpaste, right? So, uh, okay. And this one's almost empty too. And then this is just so gross. Like that can't be sanitary, right? So I'm gonna let all these go. Uh, we have a full one of this. And this, I'm gonna clean this out really fast because I don't think it'll actually take very long. Oh man, what else do we have in here? Okay, like that's almost empty. Um, like, of course, floss. I don't know why there's an old toothbrush back here. A cap. Um, those, though, those look good. Yeah, another old toothbrush. We do occasionally keep old toothbrushes for like cleaning, but we don't need these. So. I'm gonna throw all this stuff away, wash this out quick, and then we should be back in business. Okay, that feels so much better and it'll probably stay that way for like two days, <laughs> right? Ugh, what can we do? <laughs> and today's video is sponsored by Blinkist. Blinkist is such a cool app. And they take the key ideas from over 5,000 nonfiction books and they boil them down to blinks and you can listen to them or read them. But all of these important books you can cover in about 15 minutes or less. It is so cool. And recently I have been listening to the blinks of Hardwiring Happiness. It's a book that talks about how we can be happier, which I think all of us would like a little more of. And it's something the kids and I have been talking a lot about. But here is what is fascinating in this book. It talks about negativity bias and how most of us, our amygdala in our brain is hardwired to actually look for negative things and they call it a sad amygdala. Very few of us actually naturally have a happy amygdala, but what's really interesting is there are things we can do about it and we can actually train our brain to be more positive. And one of the main ways of doing that is recognizing the positive things in our life, including when we finish a task or we do something well. So as we're going through the house with our trash bag, as you're filling it up or you're getting a room done, stop and acknowledge that and say, wow, good job self. Like you set this goal and you're following through with it. And doing things like that actually helps us to have a more positive outlook on the world and be a little happier. And that's why I love Blinkist. You don't have to read the whole book to get these life-changing ideas and tactics. And so I'm gonna link down below to some of my favorite books. Recently I've been talking about burnout, the comfort crisis, and then some of my old time favorites like Atomic Habits. And another new feature of Blinkist is Blinkist Connect where you can actually share your premium account with another person. So it's like two memberships for one. You can share books back and forth and also discuss these really key ideas. You probably noticed too that these ideas actually stick in our brain a little bit better when we can discuss them with someone else. So you can do all of that through Blinkist Connect. And you can click the link down below or scan the QR code to try out Blinkist absolutely free for seven days and also get 25% off a premium membership. And then we can all be a little bit happier together. Okay, bathroom number two. So this is like generally kind of like Tom's bathroom. So his, he has a few things that are usually out. It's totally fine. I, if, if someone's coming over, I'll tuck it away. But I was just noticing that the garbage can um, is like overflowing, not because it's actually full, but because no one broke down like the boxes and stuff that they were putting. I just don't, I don't understand, <laughs> right? So I'm gonna keep the, the bag in here and just, I'm just gonna dump out the actual contents. Like, it's not full. Like, I just don't understand why it doesn't occur to anyone else to break this stuff down. It's fine, whatever, okay. Okay, good, now this can go back. Um, and then let's make a pass through these drawers and then this cabinet. It's just kind of like where we keep medicine and that kind of stuff. So let's see what we have in here. All right. Oh, 
always like, this doesn't even go in here, right? And I'm just always looking for stuff that's like almost empty. I don't like finding too much in there. Let's look in this cabinet. I hope this is more exciting at your house. <laughs> look at that. <sighs> like I've said, there's someone in our household who likes to just buy more stuff whenever <laughs> there's any kind of illness in our in our house. So oh man okay <laughs> and often we can just like combine stuff like like we have ibuprofen and ibuprofen and ibuprofen <laughs> like they could just get combined right um that doesn't need to be in here this one goes in there another ibuprofen i know like normally you probably wouldn't combine them because like the expiration dates and stuff but we go through it fast enough that that's not an issue. And so I'm just going to combine all of these and this container is going to be way better. Now, again, in true trash bag therapy, you wouldn't have to take the time. If you're like, nope, I'm literally just looking for garbage. That's totally fine. But I'm actually going to have three empty containers here um, once I combine all of these. We also already have containers. Um, like in our vehicles and stuff. So I don't need any of these like smaller containers. Um, they just, you know, how in your places you grab it, so. But it's also just important, like this feels stressful, right? Like when you look at stuff and it's really cluttered, it just feels really stressful. And so that's why we just need to like really be looking for stuff that we're not using that is almost empty. Um, we maybe bought by mistake. Like it sucks to get rid of that stuff. But again, what, remember what we're learning, um, especially if anyone in your household uh, suffers from ADHD, ADD, anxiety, um, OCD, that our physical environment is so important in how we feel. Well, I mean, for any of us, but especially with those types of conditions too. And so our physical environment really does make a big difference in how we feel and perceive the world. And so it's really important, right? And so sometimes it means, and so sometimes it just means throwing some stuff away that we thought we were going to use or whatnot, you know, because we're prioritizing our mental health over some of this stuff. So, all right, four containers into one. That feels good. <laughs> and this container feels so much better now. So, let's see. All right. Another ibuprofen. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> All right, it doesn't expire till 2024, so I think we're doing fine. <laughs> so, oh man. All right, another container on. Good. That feels way better. <laughs> so, uh, all right, it's not. It's it's still not. Oh, is there anything else we can throw away here? Um, even like I said, just straightening it up a little bit too. Yeah, like that guy doesn't go down there. All right. This needs to be up here. Well, it's a little better. <laughs> oh, and I wanna give a quick update. Remember when we installed this? It's sticking great. It hasn't gone anywhere. It works so well. And I feel like we're going through less shampoo and conditioner and body wash now with it because it like portion controls it. And so this is awesome. The only thing we would do differently is not put it on the end where the shower head is. Tom did that because that's the way he faces when he showers. So in hindsight, we probably would've put it on the other end of the shower. But big fan of this. It was an investment, but I really like it a lot. And I like how it keeps um, some of our shelves emptier in here as well. Okay, I wanna go into the kids' bedrooms next, um, but I didn't ask them ahead of time. And I don't wanna embarrass them, but I think I have an idea of how we can still get some garbage out of there. Surprise. I like did not find I didn't find that much garbage in there so huh, maybe I am doing a good job as a mom <laughs> I don't know 
Uh, hard to say. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we had a lot more <laughs> there. Like, just it's like so much little stuff. Just like all these little things that like, just they won't miss, right? Like I am getting rid of nothing precious or special or sentimental or anything like that. It's just all these little things that accumulate. So this actually feels really good. I don't know, the, the boys probably won't even notice at all, but I'm, I'm definitely glad to have all of this stuff out of there. Okay, I know where we might find some stuff now, the fridge. I'm sure there's some stuff in here um, that's, I don't know, old or almost gone or something like that. Ooh. Okay, if you have not made the white chocolate raspberry bundt cake in our, our bundt cake recipe book, um, it is fantastic. You just put some raspberry preserves in it. It's so easy, like it's easy like all the rest, but it is so good. I just saw this in the fridge and I'm like, oh, I kinda wanna make a bun cake. Also, um, in case you didn't see any of my other posts on Instagram or Facebook, um, not only did we help raise over $20,000 more than Dorothy needed for the well, but they found out, originally they thought they were gonna construct the well. Uh, I'll shut this while I talk <laughs> real quick. Um, Originally, they thought they wouldn't be able to start the well till like January, February, March-ish, but they actually found out that the rig that drills the wells, it was working just down the street. And so they told them like, hey, we were able to raise the money. Um, and so they actually started construction on it this week, like this past week. Isn't that just so cool? So thank you to everyone who bought the Easy Awesome Bun Cake recipe book and for your extra donations. It has made a huge difference. So I'll keep you updated as I hear more updates when it's actually done and they have water. But I actually got to talk to Dorothy last week. She was just so grateful. She said the women and the kids were actually crying. They were so excited to have running water at their facility. And so I just think that was so cool. So thank you, anyone who bought it or donated. And we're still gonna continue to sell it and still any money that we make from it will keep going to Dorothy's house so they can continue to expand and help more women and kids so isn't that just so cool <laughs> so I'm gonna keep the raspberry preserves in case uh, we have occasion to make another bunt cake and let's see it is kind of cool I feel like in the past I could have filled a black trash bag in our house like in a matter of minutes and now I feel like I'm actually having to like work at it and so as we've simplified our home it is so much easier to manage and I feel like I'm just constantly on the lookout for garbage, stuff we're not using, stuff to donate. Obviously I do try to donate as much stuff as possible, but mostly I just try not to bring the stuff in in the first place, right? So there's very few donations and there's very little stuff that we end up throwing away on a weekly or monthly basis and that just feels so good. I mean, talking about you know rewiring our brains to be happier, I feel like living in a peaceful environment makes it so much easier to practice these habits that make us happier. Our environment just makes us happier and more at peace and so simplifying our house still just continues to be one of the best things that we have ever done and I am so grateful for it okay I'm not actually <laughs> coming up with that much stuff which makes me feel good right but I'm afraid this isn't a very exciting <laughs> video <laughs> Okay, but don't forget the most important part, and that's to actually take your trash bag out to the trash so nobody decides to go through it, <laughs> right? So that will complete the process of our trash bag therapy. But I'm feeling energized right now. It is amazing how we just need like some tricks like this to get us started, and then most of us, once we get going, we do know like the decluttering tactics, we know the questions to ask ourselves. We find that a lot of the clutter really is easy to make decisions on, it's not all hard, but isn't it amazing how we kind of build it up in our head? Like that's gonna be so hard, I don't have the bandwidth right now to make decisions, so I completely understand it, but I do think having some of these tactics up our sleeve really can make a huge difference. And uh, speaking of which, you know, I, I said this this tactic is from Cass from Clutterbug, and she is one of the three experts as part of our Take Your House back course and so right now during the holidays we don't expect tons of decluttering to get done but come January when you really want to make some progress in your your house we would love to help you so Cass from Clutterbug, Dana from A Slob Comes Clean and myself we have the Take Your House Back course which is multifaceted it's a course um, with instructional videos and podcasts and tons of Q&A videos but then also we do events like the All Day Declutter where we give you appointments to put on the calendar where we're going to coach you through different areas and 
ask you the questions and give you the instruction so that you can get a ton of decluttering done in one day. If it isn't a hard yes, I love this, I wanna keep it, it's a hard no. So this is leave it right now. Oh, that hurts. It hurts, but the truth is, do I have the space? Yes. Those aren't the questions we ask. We ask, do I use it? Do I love it? Would I buy it again? Because all the little things add up to a lot. We're getting distracted by looking at all these tiny things in our home and we stop looking at the big picture. The big picture is our house is full. It's full of little things. So it's those little things that have to leave right now. Come on, fill that bag, fill that box. And that is another great way to kind of kickstart your motivation and really start the year off on the right foot. So that's gonna leave us all feeling a little bit happier. So I'll put a link for that down below. Uh, it's on special price right now for $94, um, but that will go up uh, as we get closer to January 7th. So just so you know, it might be something you wanna ask for for Christmas. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this out to the garbage. I'm gonna go grab the kids from my parents' house and uh, I hope you have a really great weekend. I love you and I'll see you again soon.